Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we are discussing one of my favorite topics ever and that is kitchen design. And we're talking about what is going to be in, what's gonna be popular, but how to make it timeless in 2024. Oh, the first thing, the first major, major design feature your kitchen has to have in 24, there are no excuses at this point, is an oversized vent hood. She is the girl, she is the moment. I love this in a kitchen, and I think if you're renovating your kitchen, if you're like, you know what, my kitchen's not bad, like the cabinetry's not bad, the countertops are not bad, like all of it's in good condition, it just feels a little bit like it, it needs an uplift, it's the oversized vent hood, for you, that is the thing to do in the kitchen. And I love that for 2024. Yes, it's been in for a couple of years now. We've been looking at like the hearth style hood. We've been looking at the big oversized box hoods. I think as long as it's built in, as long as it feels substantial, it's a really good hood. And that makes a kitchen feel very luxurious when you have that kind of big statement focal point. Because let's be real, what we're doing in the kitchen is cooking. I'm not there to hang out, I'm not there to chit chat with you, okay? This is not mom's pie factory or whatever. We're cooking, we're having dinner, we're in the kitchen. I need it to look gorgeous and glamorous because all things in my life need to be. And the oversized vent hood is gonna give me that. I say go oversized, take the cooktop you have underneath and go the next size up. If you have a 30 inch cooktop, get a 36 inch vent hood, get a 40 inch vent hood, give me big, give me oversized, give me glamour. And I think that's going to make a kitchen look so luxurious, but also timeless. The opposite end of that is, is going to be the ultra contemporary micro kitchen. You know, like if you're in a small apartment, you don't have the room to have like a giant massive vent hood. What's happening in this area of design is a built in integrated vent hood kind of with like one long panel of cabinetry that opens up and it's kind of built in, boxed in, so you get that really simple, clean, sleek look, but you get the storage that you don't wanna miss out on by having an oversized vent hood. And I think that's really wonderful as well. I'm really liking what I'm seeing in terms of micro kitchen design. And there's a lot to consider as to what goes into those micro kitchens that could be applied to a larger kitchen and what goes into a larger kitchen that could be downsized into a micro kitchen. I think that is the big topic, the big question. If you are having some kitchen difficulties, some dilemmas, some drama, I am at your service. You can always book a one-on-one -on -one private consultation with me to answer any and all of your decorating needs. Using the link in the description box down below or going to intro.co slash Garrett Lachic. You know, I, we were just talking about micro kitchens, which, oh, love, love that fantasy for me. I don't have a small kitchen. Like actually I've been in like five, eight, 18,000 square foot houses that have the same size kitchen I do. Not that I think it's like that incredibly large, but it's, I guess, just like a normal size kitchen. But the micro kitchen is, you know, really interesting to me and I love seeing that design. But what's happening with those micro kitchens in modern spaces is the all black kitchen. That's the next big trend for 2024. All black everything in the kitchen. I'm talking black cabinetry, black hardware, black countertops, black, black splash cabinetry, black hardware, black countertops, black backsplash, black appliances, all of it completely blacked out. I do think that's actually really cool in an ultra contemporary space or even in like a uh, restored old brownstone. Like I think it's really nice to have all of that original feature detail, high ceilings and beautiful ornate moldings and then like a really modern all black kitchen. Could I personally live with that? I don't know. You know, I am that person that's like, if it's well designed, if it's gorgeous, I can live with it. I could live in any space. I genuinely believe that, but I do think this may be something that's a little bit trend driven and you might get tired of really quickly. Like how long is an all black everything space going to last you? That's something you really have to look into yourself and consider before you go on and to do something like that because all of the sourcing it takes to find all of these items in the same black tone is very difficult because not all black tones are the same. And on top of that, sourcing everything that's gonna be really great quality and a lot of times something that's black, like a black faucet or handles will be enameled and they chip really easily. So finding the right quality, durability, matching finishes is difficult. Is it worth the effort and time it takes to source all of those? That's up to you to decide. I personally personally don't think I'm going to do an all black kitchen. We actually have to talk about what is really going on with cabinetry tones and colors it, it, just a little bit, but the all black everything in a kitchen, I do like it. I think it's interesting and unique and chic. I like seeing it online, but I don't know that I'm going to see it in my home. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. I want to hear from you, what's your take on the all black kitchen? And if you think you're going to tell me what you think about an all black kitchen without hitting that subscribe button, 
think again. Join us, become a part of the Lashik family, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and then tell me what you think of the All Black Kitchen. There are some major and massive trends coming for kitchen design when it comes to appliances. And you know, I, I know a lot of people hear trends and they're like, oh, trends are not for me, I steer clear of them. But sometimes trends are just innovative design features. And it's worth looking at considering and seeing what is new out there because it can completely change your perspective or the way you use a space. And appliances are one of those things. We had, you know, like it was all about stainless steel and then it was like black stainless steel. And then we got into the colored appliances or retro appliances, which I, I do love. What I'm seeing this year for appliances, one, the number one top thing I'm seeing are appliances like refrigerators with black interiors. It's just something really cool. People really like it. It has a very, you know, designed feeling. It feels very luxurious. I don't think I care about a black interior on my refrigerator. I feel like as long as it fits the space and looks good from outside and I can put my cold food in it, it's gonna keep it cold, I'm good with it. But a lot of people really love an elevated interior on a refrigerator and I applaud them for that opinion. What the number one trend is, what you're going to see the most when it comes to kitchen design in 2024 are panel or ready appliances. Like, let's just say what it is. That is the thing everybody wants and everybody is going to go after doing, but it's very expensive. I actually had a consultation with, I absolutely adore her, her home, her style, everything. She's so cool and great. And we were talking about organization and she was saying that, you know, I'm an, a micro organizer, but I also like everything to be hidden and like put away. And she had a specific term for it that I cannot remember. But she, she was all about this hyper organization where everything is hidden and tucked away and streamlined. And for her, a panel ready appliance is perfect. And a panel ready appliance is just an appliance like a refrigerator or a dishwasher that has a cabinetry panel affixed to the front and you can't see it it blends in we had them a little bit in like the early 90s late 80s that just didn't they didn't look good and they weren't hidden you could obviously spot that it was a refrigerator there but today they're looking really good i love these i adore them i think if you have the budget for it it's great. You know, you look at a refrigerator and they're not inexpensive, right? Like you could go and get like a scratch and done a refrigerator for a couple hundred bucks, but you know, you want to get a brand new one from a top name brand. You're going to spend like in that $2,000 range. A panel ready refrigerator, you're going to double that, if not more. So they are really expensive. They look really beautiful, but you pay for them. And maybe you get what you pay for. That's something to consider. If that's not for you, if you don't have the budget for that, because you know, it's like you, you have to plan and budget for what you're doing in your kitchen when you're doing it. And so maybe that's just one of the things you have to give up on. I say go for a counter depth refrigerator. There is no excuse. I don't want to hear it. Don't tell me how you can't fit a pizza box in there. Girl, I'm not putting a full pizza in my refrigerator. I'm eating the pizza and then putting the leftovers in there. They don't have to stay in the box. You can do that too. I don't want to hear it. No excuses, no full depth refrigerators counter depth refrigerators only that is the vibe because they have a little bit more of that built-in look to them which i think is great there is actually a big appliance trend coming i'm seeing all over social media that i'm loving and it's actually this refrigerator which lg sponsor me uh that actually has colored panels and there are multiple colored panels on them and i think it's cool i like the personalization feature and i actually went and looked at this refrigerator and it's it's actually really nice i probably wouldn't get it in colors i'd go for like either white black stainless something like that just because i like something that's a little more classic in my home but I think it's actually really cool. I love the personalization of it. And we've been seeing that kind of on and off where you have like ultra luxury appliance companies that do these custom color enameled appliances that are in that ultra luxury appliance sphere. So this is a little bit more accessible for everyone. And I think it's something that's actually really cool when you have that kind of style, that accommodates all of these colors in this space. And I see it with a lot of people that love like postmodern design, which I think is also really cool. So I think that's an interesting area when you look at like taking an older kitchen and adding something interesting. Like if you have that refrigerator, that's just kind of bulky off to the side. This could be something really cool to put into a space that I think actually elevates it and turns something ugly into something interesting. It probably won't be for everybody, but if 
LG sponsors me, then it'll be for me. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is the real trend here is a statement appliance. I'm seeing people that have built-in panel-ready appliances that let their oven pop and speak because they get something really cool that's like white and brass and stainless steel that's really interesting. Or, you know, getting that accent refrigerator moment, having one standout piece as far as an appliance goes, I think is really cool and that's a big trend coming in 2024. 2024 is the year of the mood, okay? We love moody spaces, things are darker, more interesting, and a lot of people don't want darker spaces, which I completely understand and respect, but something happens every single day that makes a space a little bit moodier, and that thing is called nighttime. And when the nighttime comes, we can use something called lighting to create that moody space. Genius, I know. I love moody lighting in a kitchen, and I think that is gonna be a major, major trend you are seeing in 2024. And it's not just overhead lighting, it's not just under cabinet lighting, it's like a small lamp in the kitchen. That's what I'm seeing people do. They're taking these smaller lamps and having like the cords shortened on them or finding ones with short cords. That way it's really clean and tidy and putting them in their kitchens. I do actually like that. You have to be careful about the size of your kitchen, however, because if you have a really small kitchen, you have that micro kitchen, don't put a lamp on the countertop. Like you don't have that much space to begin with. Why are you gonna fill it up with something you don't actually need in a kitchen? But if you have a large enough kitchen, it could be something really fun, a good thing to put in that empty kind of corner in the kitchen. And it's a great way to enhance the moodiness, the effect of the entire space. Bring the lighting from the living area where you're hanging out into the kitchen in that open concept space. That's absolutely perfect. And I think it's fantastic to have a little bit of extra lighting in that space. If you're not the person that wants to have a lamp in your kitchen though, because not, not everybody is like, yeah, let me get a lamp in my kitchen. Like some people are like, oh no, like I do too much greasy stuff. And like maybe you're frying foods all the time. You don't want a lamp there that you have to clean. You can actually get a directional plug in nightlight that has a similar effect. I actually have a couple of them in my home that I put like, oh, that random dark hallway, put one of those lights in it and now we can kind of see the floor in that space or you get a little extra light. Like, you know, my dogs don't like to sleep in the pitch black, so I have a little nightlight for them. That's their vibe, that's what they like. That can also get you this effect without having a lamp in your kitchen, rope lighting, under cabinet lighting. If you have a gap of space above your cabinetry, putting lighting in there. 2024, I really feel like is kind of also the year of the lighting. I was saying 2023 is the year of the lamp. 2024 is the year of mood lighting. So if you have a bright white space, it's probably not bright in the daylight at night. So adding some extra lighting could definitely elevate your space. And actually that doesn't have to cost a ton of money, but could really, really make a space look luxurious and expensive. I teased you a little bit with talking about what is in for cabinetry trends and colors, the color of cabinetry. What is in this year? Okay, I am loving, I'm obsessed, and what I actually am seeing is dark cabinetry coming back. I talked about this in a previous video, how dark wood tones are coming back for 2024, and I absolutely love it. I recently saw someone I love, Exo McKenna. She did a little like a DIY update on her kitchen, and she painted her cabinets a dark brown to make them look like wood. And it was fantastic, I absolutely love it. And that's what I'm seeing in terms of like the DIY scale and side of things. If you have a kitchen and you're like, I really want a dark moody kitchen and you know, the cabinets need to have something done to them, maybe painting them a dark brown to look like wood could be the answer or the solution for you. If you're like, I'm not painting cabinets, I want wood though, because wood is what is in for 2024. Love a good piece of wood is actually gonna be like a mid-tone oak. We're done with white oak, we love it. If you have it, embrace it, oh, cherish it because it's gorgeous. But what we're seeing is something that's a little bit warmer, not quite like a yellow or honey oak, but something that is a little bit darker in tone, but a little more subtle. This is the thing for me. I'm looking at redoing my kitchen and I'm planning bathrooms and all of this. And I'm trying to figure out what am I doing in the kitchen to decide what I'm doing in the bathrooms, which so much work, but I want this wood tone. And I think it's gonna be gorgeous to have like a white and gray checkerboard marble floor with this warm oak tone and then a white marble countertop. So gorgeous. The things that are trending at the moment are things that have always been incredibly timeless because people are kind of realizing that like, oh, the trends go and come in like every couple of months, it's something different. So it's like, we're looking at the timeless scale, the side of things. And that's always gonna be something that's gonna make your home look and feel beautiful and ageless. And like, it's always been that way. Like it's always going to be that way. And I think that's gorgeous. So this mid tone for cabinetry is the moment. That's what I'm seeing. 
dark woods or wood kind of paint tones in that really, really dark color, these mid oak kind of wood tones and white because white's timeless. Everybody likes a white kitchen, even though yes, it was overplayed at one point. If you love a white kitchen, have a white kitchen. Now, before you think of doing a single thing in that kitchen or bathroom in your home, you need to know why interior design matters. So be sure you check out this video right over here and I will see you over there.